the door is unlocked. Oh my god, I hate her voice. I'm a little surprised you got out of the predicament. Incredible. I hate to admit it, but you deserve props. As a bonus, I've opened up the door. Did you? That was the deal from the start. The Stupid belittling bitch. Hey. There's no telling what's beyond here, so try to stay close. I'll do what I can. He's worried. Oh no, he's... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Can you not walk any faster? Hmm. Hey. I'm fine. She's not fine. She's weak from the tux. She's weak from the toxins. Oh man, we're never, we're never gonna get anywhere at this pace. Keep going? I would like to if possible, but I'd just get stuck somewhere if I went by myself. It's okay, I can walk. Sure you won't pass out and die on me? Mm, I'll do my best. What do you mean I do your best? If you die, they won't mean shit. Sure, death is a wish and all, but what about mine? You won't be granted if you kick the bucket. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right. Okay, then I can do even better from now on. Then <laughs> you're bright, though you always just repeat yourself like some sort of pool string doll. What should we do? You shut up while you're ahead. You're human, right? Think for yourself. If you can wait for a bit, the dizziness should go away. Hey! The camera can't see us here. I'll wait here so hurry up. Ah, you're so nice. What a silly boy. Man, she looks ghost white and even more dull like when she's asleep. It's nice that she does what she's told, but always answering for yeah or yes. Is she a robot? How dull. I'm just wondering why I'm getting so bent out of shape over all this. Ah, could the poison from earlier be in my system too? There's no use thinking about pointless shit like this. I also take it easy for a bit. And then they get kidnapped. <gasps> hey, you know that kid that got here this month? I smelled something foul, so I went to check it out, and he's dead as a doorknob. Oh, is that right? Uh, so what do we do about it? Break in the yard. Again? You sure that's okay? Nobody's gonna come looking for a kid and dump off here for chicken feed. But I can't stand it. Touching something decomposed is gross. Listen to how selfish you sound. Ah, that reminds me. Is the other kid still alive? That kid. The one that looks like a disfigured monster with burns. Oh, him? Yeah, he's still alive and kicking. Nobody's been feeding him either. Must be foraging for scraps or something. The whole thing makes my skin crawl, to be frank. Hey, we should just let him bury the dead kid. Let one kid take care of the other. That's an option. Hey, you shitty adults. I tried it out. I tried it out once before. He just suddenly buried the body. Oh, really? It's perfect, right? The less scraps there are left, the less garbage things. Plus, we're short-handed. Whoa, who'd I thought keeping a monster alive would be so handy? It's like a tool of sorts. A robe befitting of a monster, as it were. Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, consider our problem solved. It's movie time for me, and don't give me hell for it this time. Gross, it's that splatter horror flick that you're obsessed with, right? I'm in love with that movie. That scene where those upbeat morons get slaughtered always gives me the kick. You're sick, you know that. I can't stand that movie. 
The killer doesn't even die at the end. Seriously, can you please not watch that? Didn't you leave the house with it playing the other day? I'm gonna watch it whether you like it or not. Now go have him take care of that corpse. Zack. Zack. Huh? You up? He said, "Hey, that means he overheard that." Zach, can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel quite refreshed actually. In that case, let's get to move on because of you. I saw something sickening. Oh. that means he actually kills because he fucking hates this. Like, he has like this sort of resentment. Hey, since you're here, I thought I'd extend my offer once more. Are you sure internal imprisonment doesn't strike your fancy? I told you I'm sure as fucking rain. Get off my back about you bitch. Quit acting like it's some sort of paradise or something. I know very well what kind of miserable existence you're offering, so back off. Aw, oh, no takers. You don't wish to be playing things for my enjoyment. Ha. <laughs> I'm referring to you when I say play things. I mean, seeing the both of you together is just comical. You made some odd promise with each other, no? Precarious promises which are mere acts of pushing your selfish agendas upon one another. While there appears you have mutual interests on the surface, in actuality you are merely playing one another. But the question is, who's really playing who? Oh, what, what do you mean by that? Oh, listen to me, prattle on. Not getting through, am I? Of course, I'm not. Just sinners for a reason. Wait, question. Did Ray end up being in part of the list in this building, in this so called building, in this realm, as a sinner? Because she actually, she actually took her own death with her own hands already. And it's considered a sin, and she doesn't remember that. It's not that typical, right? God damn it. Such typical sinners. Oh, she she matched me. I love it. Oh, and that foolish girl is quite cute, isn't she, Zach? Well, I hope you continue having fun getting punished. It's you, stupid. Playthings. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Zach? Don't talk to me right now. Let's go. What's wrong? I think I heard some sort of voice. Uh. I wonder if this leads to the very first fork in the path. The red, the recesses of the jail room are dark and not visible. A foul stench permeates the air. Okay. Oh, this one smells something smells like it's rotting. These are all dead people. Hey, what gives? Voices. Ooh. Again. Whoa. Huh? What's wrong? Something resembling a human hand is moving. A hand? <laughs> One of the bitches prison victims, huh? It's in such shitty shape that his body crumbles by stepping on it. This happened because he chose the internal prison and offered the bitch mansion. This guy's more worthless than tits on the fucking bull. Looks like there is people even dumber than me. Are you feel good about yourself? Hey, don't mess with it. It's already dead. It's not alive. Huh? You think? Let's get out of here. We've wasted enough time on this bullshit. Okay. 
Hey. These are all rotting people. Oh. Oh boy. It's dark and barely visible, but the floor looks deadly. Greetings. Welcome, kids. Congratulations on making it this far. As you can see, make one wrong step and you'll fall to your spiky demise. But it's actually not as bad as I make it out to be. There are just two paths. Yep, the path for each just winds up in a slightly different place, that's all. Which path you take is entirely up to you. Well, punishment and waste beyond here as well though, right? Anyway, which way it be? Well, there are two of you after all. Isn't it about time to end this silly charade? You and your childish promises is almost laughable. I think it's an unfair promise considering you will die anyway. Well, well enough about that. In this room anyway, the both of you won't be taking the same path. Oh, that's why I heard the plastic sound from my mind. This one I was playing with this. Best of luck. I'm waiting to see who gets condemned first. Shit, why she gotta make everything so tedious? When the hell can I get out of here? Ugh, I gotta keep my cool. That stupid cackling bitch. I wanna chop her into bits so badly. Hey, what are you still spacing out for? After you take care of that woman, be sure to kill me too once we're out. Fuck man, you got a one-track mind. You don't seem really to kill me after all. Aww. That's why he has a sweet spot for her. It's of course with the vacant look of yours. Or oh, my promise with you is not good until we get out of here. I'm aware. Do something about that vacant doll face stare of yours in the meantime. And while you're at it, stop asking me stupid shit, got it? Ah, uh, but... A promise is a promise. Quit ordering me around so much. Okay, I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, he felt bad! Let's get going. That far, I'll never make it. Oh shit! <laughs> Can you repeatedly fling me over to the other side? Oh, if I screw up, then you fall head first. Fling you is a cage. The problem is I can't control how hard I throw you. In that case, let's not. Oh, that's too bad then. We have to prop. Hey, what's the matter? This road bridge could snap at any moment. I'm not sure if it's sturdy enough for me, let alone the both of us. Huh? There's no point unless we both get out here. Hey, what's the plan? We're getting nowhere fast. We've no choice but to split up. Huh? Will we make it if we do that? I'm not sure. Not sure? What the hell happens if we die? What happens? We die then? Oh, fine. Sorry for asking something so dumb. Let's move. Hey, how you doing? Oh. I'll barely make it across. A gun! Oh, I've got no choice but to cross and make sure not to get shot. I didn't expect that there would be another one because I heard the gunshot once. I thought I'll only have one gunshot. I'm dumb. Okay, relax. The rope is not gonna break. Oh, okay. It's quite straightforward. I said it too early. Okay, I need to wait. 
I somehow made it true. Zack? What's this? Zack and I are shown on the screen? Hey, another gun? Hope she's not getting any ideas about getting us of Q. Oh man, there's no point in thinking about this bullshit. So I just gotta jump over the floor and close to the other side, eh? Now what? What the hell? Which way do I jump? Oh shit. I'll get there if I improvise. Oh, I don't have to do anything. I think you can jump over already, right? Shit. I can't jump that far. Damn, which way do I go? Go back, Zack. Huh? Why? I can see you on the screen over here. Zack, jump the direction I tell you so you can pass through safely. I don't have to do anything. Zack? I heard you the first time. All I need to do is go back, right? Yes, if you proceed as I say. Knock it off. I think I can get back on my own. If you say so. Okay. I gotta go back. Zack, take the lower right. I'll turn back so just quit barking out ogres. <coughs> it died. I suspected this way is a dead end. <laughs> he doesn't want to listen to her, it's so funny. Zack, you were supposed to keep... I'm trying to. When you get back, take four paces to the left. And jump up to the floor above. Zack? Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four. You happy now? From there, jump to the upper left. And then, jump up from there. The only way to go is up. Duh, spare me the details. Hmm. I can see on the screen, so I thought it would be quicker for me to tell you. That and if you don't make it across, I'll sort of be worse off. I'm not some kind of pawn in the game's chest. Quit treating me like one. <laughs> that was easy. I'm so happy to see you, Zack. There's two different doors, one here and one over there. So you will see. What's the plan? Other than to keep going, I'm not entirely sure. You sure you still ain't got any poison in your system? Your face looks spaced out. I'm fine now. Hmm. Well, I guess all you can do is keep going. Yeah, I know. I'll do what I can. Do, do, do you want me to kill you? Huh? He's pissed. Why? All I say is I will do my best to make, to make sure he'll kill me. What's up with him? Ah oh well. It's the room beyond the iron bars where Zack went. You don't say. Oh god, is this the, the blue and red pill? Zack, this room. The door's locked and all that's here is this syringe. So what the hell is supposed to do now? Shoot up and get high? A syringe, eh? I'll go check it out. It's a syringe filled with something. The needle is sharp and it appears to be the real deal. What kind of drug is in this? I really dislike her laugh, man. Hello, we finally get to be in person! Oh my god, so exciting. Catherine Ward, Katie. My goodness, both of you are here. That's more than I planned for. But I got a feeling we're in for a treat. Said this bitch. What the fuck is it this time? Oh, 
sack. Why so hostile? Is that the way you talk to a beautiful lady? Some things never change. <laughs> but that's also what makes me so hot for you. Eh. Zip it, how about you come down here so I can slice you up good? Silly boy, you're the one who will be your demise. Hey, what's your plan this time? Hey, Rachel Gardner, what do you think a syringe is for? To inject medicine to the body. Holy shit, you don't say. We go. The door in this room will unlock when each of you inject the syringes. One contains a healthy dose of vitamins, while the other has a not so healthy dose of something else. This something else has a potent chemical capable of lulling you to sleep and tormenting you with nightmares. Goodness, you may not even wake up! How many syringes is it? Oh my god, that means Zack will have it pretty badly. As if I'll tell, I forgot anyway. Originally, this room was designed so someone would have to make the right or wrong choice. You saw how the path fogged in the room earlier, right? If luck is on your side, you inject the vitamins. Otherwise, you inject the deadly chemical. A game of chance, if you will. But there was some miscalculation on my part. There's two of you. Surely you knew this would happen. Oh, you unseemly child. A good head on your shoulders is all you have, darling. I was monitoring you, but just as Zack says, you're so dull. Well, that's enough boring chit chat. Since there's two of you, I'll make a special tweak to the rules. Swapping the strangers is allowed. Plus, one of you can inject both of them. However, make sure they inject it to the last drop. There'll be hell to pay for any shenanigans. You'll never see the light of day again. The girls are creepy. And on that note, my lovely sinners, I wish you the best of luck. Bring me the syringe. Here it is. Oh, hey, do you know which one's the leader? Uh, I thought so. I have no clue either. What's the plan? You'll be a cold day in hell before you die in a shithole like this. That woman can suck it. Alright. Want me to inject both of them? Oh, do, you, do you really think you'll ever wake up again after that? We'll find out. Or do you want to give it a shot? Me? Hell no. Anyway, we don't know which is drug, so it would be better to know which one of us will be affected. If you don't, then I'll do it. There's no telling what's going to happen though. Not sure. What happens if you queue over and die? What happens? I mean, if you or me die, then what the fuck are we gonna do? What you swore won't come true, but... That... I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, that's right. You have a death wish. Sorry I asked something so dumb. Dumb? <laughs> that bitch is right. You and I are both playthings. Well, I don't get the whole swearing to God thing, but as long as you die, you're happy, right? So tell me something. It's that vacant look on your face because you surrendered yourself to death. Suck so hard. I'm being played by a lifeless doll. Even so, I'm not going to play into that bitch's hands. Getting the hell out of here is my top priority. So I'll do as you say. Huh? He <laughs> cares! There's no, there's no denying that. Wait, that's my syringe. Shut up, if you got a bitch about it, do you have to take care of yourself? But... This chemical looks dangerous, but it's not poison, right? 
Ah, uh, but he's gonna have a lot of nightmares. If this kills me, that means you'll die soon after. In that case, it would be better for me to inject it. Oh. It opened. Hey, let's get a move on. It's walking very slowly, is it? She'll be like, where you'll be like, I don't get it, why did you sacrifice yourself for me? I'm the one who wants to die, you're weird. <laughs> I'm seeing stars. Oh. Oh my god, flashbacks. So exciting. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That's what I should do.